hi guys welcome to my channel this is queen is the word and today's video i want to share with you guys and this video guys guys pay attention <laughs> in this video i want to share with you guys five th five things five things that five things that when a man do to you don't even bother to even marry that man okay five reasons why you shouldn't marry him you should not even say yes to a man five reasons i want to give it to you five and don't if you're a new subscriber thanks for subscribing if you're a returning subscriber thanks for all this coming back i really do appreciate every single person and of course if you haven't please subscribe to my channel and i will really appreciate it okay thank you all so now let's go into today's video because this video today's video is very important okay no matter what reason why you should marry a man is when a man doesn't value you you know i watched a video of recent of banter with nj i'm gonna put a video right here and the anime right here uh, right here for you guys um she actually did it with jenny jenna jenny i can't remember her name chingo or something like that i'm gonna put their both names for you guys to see you, so you can go check out the video that i'm talking about what is the video is in banter with nj um uh, channel so i was watching that video and you know they were talking about the particular couple that the man kept beating the woman the market beating the woman and um, the woman was really depressed and blah blah, blah. then one day um the, ma the woman left the woman left the house with the baby the children and uh, but then uh, the man came to beg and told them that they should please come back they came with family and the woman actually accepted so the woman actually came back to the house so when she came back to the house that the woman now so there was one particular time that I think the man was eating the, the, the one of the kids and she was trying to tell the man to please stop, to please stop to eat the, the baby. And that's when the man said, join, added, I would, say beating her. And then she told, I don't know, for some reason, she said the next thing was that the man, the woman had left the house with the children to the neighbor's house. The next morning that one of the neighbors came to call her that the husband is lying down on the floor in the, in the room. So when she now got there, she just said the man was tapped multiple times you know in his body the man, the man was snapped so now the man died now the case is in court right now but i don't know what the, the outcome of the case is but i know the comments i gave in the comment in the comment session i said there is no way that if a man values you it will not even beat you no matter what you do it would it will always find a way around it to to make you know that you what you did to him really hurt him it's not going to be it to you. It's not going to hit you and be beating you with cane, with belt or something like that. It's because the reason why a man is doing that is because he doesn't value you. So when a, and as a young girl, if you observe or you notice that a man doesn't value you, don't marry him. And do you know one thing there? There's one that God gives to us. To us is instinct. God gives us brain. And the truth is, we always see these things. We always see it, but most times, we overlook it in relationship. And just go ahead with the marriage anyway and like them and then the consequences you then the consequences you get into the marriage you start regret like oh my goodness i actually saw this coming they start regretting so why put yourself through that stress why put yourself through that stress right now if you observe it in relationship don't don't even bother to even say yes just walk away if you're gonna be single be single Okay, we are don't be stuck in the marriage the way you be you be treated like the way you don't want to be treated. So if it doesn't value you, please, sister, turn your back, don't marry. And about two, it's about two points I want to make that the man, the reason why you shouldn't uh, say yes to a man is if it's a mommy's boy. <laughs> you know, there are some men that not the only mommy's I think that mommy's boy is just a term. But usually it might not even be a mommy's boy, it could be a friend's boy, it could, it could be a, a daddy's boy, it could be anybody's boy, even I, well, I'm I I was not saying vice versa too. Even for a man too, you see it in a woman, don't even bother about it. For example, a man a woman a man a woman will tell the man that ah, I have a business idea in my head, you say, hey, okay, let me go and tell my friend. Or oh, let me go and ask my mother, or let me go and ask my father, or even the man too will tell the woman. Let me do this thing. Just say, let me talk to my daddy about it, or let me talk to my mom about it. Never even make that mistake getting married to that kind of a man because at the end of the day, if you get put yourself in that kind of a situation, my dear, you are going to regret it. I'm telling you because when you get married, then you that is when you will see. Let me tell you guys something. When it comes to relationship, we can take so many things, 
we can put so many things in my hand because because we're not living together, right? You don't live together with a man. He lives alone. You live your own apart. You only talk. So when you guys see yourself, there's that bond. There's that fun going on. There's that enjoyment going on. Ha, <laughs> my dear. In marriage, it's different body because you're gonna be in that same house with that man. So when they, all this is happening every time, every time, every time, and also you get depressed. And so, and at some point, you you will start making some start regretting your act. Oh God, why did I marry this man? Or why did I marry this woman? You start regretting it. So when a man is a mommy's boy or a woman is a mommy, don't even do it. Just let it go. Number three thing: don't marry a man that doesn't love God. In fact, that should even come first. Don't marry a man that doesn't love God. If it takes a man that loves God to love a woman, and I'm sorry, this should be my number one point. It takes a man that loves God to love a woman. If a man doesn't love, if a man doesn't love God, he cannot love you. Period. That is it. It takes a man, a man that has the fear of God. Because of number one, he knows what the scripture is. You know what the Bible says about loving your wife. The Bible says, "The wife submit to your husband. Submit is he is your Lord." And the Bible says that say that, but men love your wife. Love. So it takes a man that understands the scripture to know that, yeah, this is my wife, I must love her because the Bible says I should love her. So even regardless of what you even do, have your head touch. <laughs> you know, women, sometimes we have a You know, have your head is touching, you will still, there's still that place of, oh, because I love you. <laughs> I'm going to let it go. Right? So you want to marry a man that loves God. He must love God. When he loves God, he's body for God. He will cherish you with everything that he has in his life. He will cherish you. He will cherish you because he knows the advantage of, he knows what he, 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 he will get. He knows what he's going to get for saying, for loving you. Because it is a privilege. When a man loves a, a woman, a, there's a benefit that comes with it that God is going to use to bless him. Even a woman too, when you are submissive to your husband, there are blessings that you are going to receive from God for doing that. So, if he, if he doesn't love God, please turn your back. The Bible says, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. So, do not put yourself in a situation where you sound like, oh, I wish I had known. Don't put yourself in that and I know situation. And my fourth thing I want to talk about is, do not marry a man that you see the sign that is going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be, maltreating you because sometimes we see it you see it you don't when you see those signs that ah i i can see that this man <laughs> is going to match you don't even bother yourself don't bother yourself to marry him don't bother don't try to stress yourself to keep yourself unnecessary headache for no reason because you can't see it we have the spirit god has given us the spirit and that is one privilege we have as children of god discernment we can discern we can discern in our spirit that this thing is not going to work. This is not going to be good. This is not going to be good. Then you have to turn your back and not do it. And my number fifth point is do not marry a man that God tells not to marry. And somebody will ask me, how do I do? You have to pray about it. When you pray about it and God says no, it is no. Don't argue it. Don't force it. Don't back. This is difficult. It is hard. I know. I've been there. I've been there. I've been there not once, not twice, not thrice, not so many times. There, there are our decisions that we have to make. There are some that, that you know that oh, you, you can see that this is going to be a life changer for you. Yet, God is going to tell you, no, that's not what I want for you. Turn your back and you are upset. You are mad in your spirit. God, why? God, why? I'm going to be looking at you like you don't even know the plan I have for you. Remember, say, the plan I have for you is of good. And not of evil so to bring you to an expected end as believers as children of god that is our consolation that whatever even though if i say no to this person that i feel like it's all perfect it's all good god is saying no god is saying no for a reason and i have to listen so do not marry a man that god tells not to marry but if he says don't marry that person it's for a reason because god no see let me tell you something even when god tells you when, when you pray and God tells you that, yes, I mean this with you. This person is a good person for you. You see how, you see how so many ups and downs. 
You see, you have so many things that you have to you have to talk about. You have so many communication you have to do to build the home, to build the marriage, to build the union, to build the intimacy. You have a lot, a lot of work to do. A lot. A lot of work to be done. A lot. A lot. Don't wait till when God not tell you no. Then that means that the work you're gonna be doing, that you're gonna do, is gonna be like times twenty <laughs> of what you could have avoided in the first place. In the first place, so never marry a man that God tells you not to marry. When God says no, turn your back. Don't, don't even argue it. Don't even force it. And don't think that, oh my God, no God, don't worry, I'll change him. You cannot change anybody. I've, I've said this several times on my channel. If, if, that old, if you are like old members of this family, you will know it's wrong that I say. You cannot change anyone. The only person that can change somebody is the person of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is the only one that can change anyone. Holy Spirit. Just, just Holy Spirit. We can pray for them. We can preach to them. We try to bring them closer to Christ. But we cannot change them. It's in the work of Holy Spirit to do that. Not us. So you cannot change a man. You cannot change a woman. So when God says no, he has a reason. Maybe that person is a good person but not just for you. Another person is made for that man, or another person is made for that woman. So when God says no, turn your back and say, okay, God, I listen and I'm done with this. There was a particular one that was really tough for me because of the location and everything. I was like, oh my God, this is a very really good thing, blah, blah, blah. And I was scared to pray, I'm not going to lie. I was really scared to pray. But because of the kind of person that I am, I know how deep I am with God. I know that there's no way I want to take any step in my life. I don't want to involve God. At the end of the day, I know that I still prayed anyway because I had to pray. I prayed. I guess what? When I pray, and God says no, and that was my fear that God was going to say no about the relationship. I don't know why I was even thinking that God was going to say no about the relationship, and God said no. And guess what? It was tough, but I had to stop. I stopped, and I turned my back. It was tough, but I thank God that I listened to God today. You know, we may enjoy for a night, but joy comes in the morning. That is the that is the that is the privileges that we have. That's one of the privileges that we have as children of God. Like, it, I might have cried. I might have oh my God, oh I can't let that guy go. I can't let him go. But God says no. He says no. So which means that even even if I'm I'm seeing it as a weeping, like I'm crying about it. But this morning, my morning now is right now. What I'm actually experiencing in my marriage right now. What I'm experiencing in my home. So joy actually coming in the morning. Thank God I cried, but I wept about that, and that was it. But I did not go ahead with that. Right? Then I waited. Then God brought my man for me, my own, my own husband for me. And this is who I want for you. And thank God I accepted. Right? So. So the things that you should look out for. Don't make the mistake. You cannot change anybody. And I pray for every single that is watching me today that in the name of Jesus Christ, as to make this decision, God is going to order your step. He is going to help you. God is going to help you. You will do the right thing. You will do the needful in the name of Jesus Christ. And there will be great testimonies in your heart, great testimonies in your home, in the name of Jesus Christ. To your home, so many homes will be blessed. People will look at your homes and they will say, yeah, this home has even touched my own home. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for asking our prayers. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, share, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed. Thank you all. And as usual, I leave you all in the hand of Almighty God. Thank you, and God bless you. Bye. <laughs>